I'm Andy Tiller, EVP for Products and Services at TM Forum. And this is a quick introduction to the ODA component directory. ODA components are part of the implementation architecture quadrant of TM Forum's Open Digital Architecture, ODA. ODA is an enterprise architecture blueprint for a cloud native digital service provider. It's designed to create simpler IT solutions that are easier and cheaper to deploy, integrate, and upgrade. The ODA components are interoperable software building blocks that run a service provider's business. Traditionally, these have been business support systems and operation support systems, BSS and OSS. But virtualized network functions and network management systems can also be treated as ODA components. We represent ODA components by this hexagon shape, where the green rhombus at the top describes the functional scope. For example, a product catalog management component has certain functionality it needs to have and to expose via open APIs, represented by the, the lollipop sticking out of the edges of the hexagon. This is similar to the old telecoms application map, TAM, which has been used by our industry for many years. TAM is superseded in the open digital architecture by this green rhombus part of the ODA components. It uses the same functional framework as TAM, but with a more fine-grained grouping of functions into microservices-based software applications, as shown on the component inventory here on the right. The other colored segments of the hexagon deal with security, observability, and other aspects of management and operations. These relate to the deployment of components onto the standardized ODA canvas. So the components are deployed onto the canvas, which provides an execution environment, but which also exposes common services, which are used by all components for things like security, observability, identity and access management, and so on. TM Forum members' vision is that vendors will gradually transform their commercial products to build them out of microservices-based building blocks conformant to the ODA component specifications, while CSPs will gradually migrate their IT environments towards conformance to the ODA canvas. We believe that if the industry follows this common path towards cloud-native open architectures, together we can create a market for ODA components, which benefits CSPs, vendors, and system integrators alike, as ODA components can be built, procured, and deployed quickly and easily. As this starts to happen, the industry will need a place for buyers to find software partners who can supply the ODA components they want to procure or to upgrade. This is the concept of the ODA component directory. TM Forum launched a proof of concept of the directory in September 2022, which showcased software products from 44 TM Forum member companies. We're now progressing to an alpha release targeted for February 2023. The prototype version of the ODA component directory focused on a simple functional mapping of commercial products to the ODA components. In other words, just using this green part of the hexagon. On its own, this doesn't tell you anything about whether the vendor's products conform to the ODA component specifications or not, only that the functional scope of their commercial products covers the scope of the component, which is still useful. However, TM Forum members are currently working to mature the component specifications and to develop test tooling and CTKs with a view to enabling full conformance certification at the component level. A first step what we call level one conformance for a component corresponds to certification of all the mandatory open APIs exposed by that component. And the key feature of the alpha release of the ODA component directory in February 23 will be the introduction of this level one conformance for components, making it clear which software vendors have the required open API certifications and giving them a preferential listing on the relevant component pages in the directory. In time, with the maturing of the component specifications and the development of the test tools and CTKs, we plan to highlight further levels of ODA component conformance in the directory, ultimately identifying software vendors and products with full conformance at the component level. Now let's take a look at the demo. So this is the homepage of the ODA component directory, and you can see that a buyer could browse the directory either by software provider or by ODA component. And a typical buyer journey would begin with the components 
where we're assuming that the buyer has already identified which components they want to procure. I'll explain more about that in a bit. Here is the ODA component map, a top level view, which shows uh, the colored function blocks. These are loosely coupled domains providing a separation of concerns for different uh, groups of components. So party management, core commerce management, and so on. These are the function blocks. Um, a buyer can browse the component directory either by clicking on the function block here and, um, and then finding the components in that function block, or alternatively, searching for a specific component by name. So let's suppose we find uh, product order capture and validation as one of the components that this buyer is interested to, uh, to procure. Uh, clicking through here, we see we're on the product order capture and validation component page. So this provides a, a description of the component. It provides some metadata when it was published and so on. Uh, and it also provides information about the APIs that must be exposed by this component. Here we're saying uh, TMF622, uh, the product ordering open API. That's a mandatory API which must be exposed by this component. We have some other optional APIs as well. Um, so this one, TMF622, is the one which is required, uh, certification is required for this uh, API for a vendor to achieve level one conformance for the component. We also find here links to the detailed specifications of the ODA components. If you want to see the work in progress, then you'll need to join the relevant collaboration project. Uh, to do that, if you go to the TM Forum website, click on, click on Labs, find the member projects, you'll come to this page, and at the bottom you will find the technical architecture and components project. So join that one in order to see the full detail. Uh, otherwise, any TM Forum member can go to the uh, Code and Frameworks um, member resources under Open Digital Framework and search for TMFC002 and you will find the specification document published for any TM Forum member. Currently, we have 17 components on the inventory which are specified at this level, but um, we're actively working on uh, version six of the component heat map inventory, and uh, there will be more components coming in early 2023 when we'll be updating to the alpha version of the component directory. So on the component page, if we scroll down to the bottom, we can see a list of vendors who's, who have commercial products where the functional scope of their products covers the scope of this component. So if we take uh, Amdocs as an example, this link takes us to the Amdocs page where we can see uh, the coverage of all of the Amdocs products. So uh, all of the Amdocs products listed in the component directory anyway, here they all are. There's quite a large number of, of products in here. Um, and if we're particularly interested in the product order capture and validation component, you can click here to see it's the Amdocs Commerce product, which covers that component. And here's further details of the Amdocs Commerce product. It has links to uh, the Amdocs website to read more about this product. Um, and you can see the functional scope of this product covers four ODA components. One of those components is the, of course, the product order capture and validation. That's how we got here. If you click on that, you can see that Amdocs has certified the mandatory open API, TMF622 product ordering open API is certified. And that means that Amdocs uh, will be level one conformant for this component. So in the next version of the product, um, we'll identify that perhaps by coloring this uh, hexagon in orange or something to indicate that that has achieved level one conformance. We will also, um, when you go to the product order capture and validation component page, back to that page, um, the page will show level one conformant companies, uh, including Amdocs and others who've certified TMF622 open API. Those will be listed as uh, a, a higher level uh, than companies that have not achieved that certification. So let's come back to a bit, bit of advice for users of the ODA component directory, uh, buyers of ODA components. Um, this question I mentioned earlier on, how do I know which components I need? Um, 
One way to do this is to download the specification for the component. Um, here's the spec for the product order capture and validation component. And to scroll down to find uh, the functional framework mapping here. So this gives a very detailed description of uh, the functions that the component supports. Now, on the other hand, that may be uh, too technical for uh, business users who are trying to identify which components they need. And that's where uh, other parts of the open digital architecture come in. So we're developing the business in the business architecture quadrant, a business capability repository, which provides a, a way of specifying in business language the capabilities that uh, are needed. And then those can be mapped directly through to the ODA components. So uh, that's a way to work in business language to identify the components that need to be procured. And that's a uh, work in progress, but it's uh, developing fast. Secondly, you might want to know where you can see uh, where the vendors have actually deployed their open APIs. And for, for this, I suggest you look at the Open API Certifications Awarded table. So if you go to our website, you can find the Certifications Awarded table. Here it is. Uh, and here you can see all the, spec all the recent uh, API conformance certifications that uh, TM Forum members have done. We've just recently introduced here uh, a filter on this table which shows real world open API conformance. So this is not uh, certifications which have been run in a product lab, but actually have been run in the real world in a live operator deployment. And you can see most of these are actually uh, CSP certifications of their own environment, but um, vendors can also certify APIs running in the real world with their uh, service provider customers. So here, for example, Technotree has certified this API TMF637 in a solution which has been deployed at MTN Uganda, and that has been verified by TM Forum certification. Okay, so what can you put in your RFP today? Well, um, one thing you can do is that you can require open API certification for the APIs that are relevant. And for that, you probably want to reference the open API table. So that table can also be found um, from the TM Forum website. Um, here's the table. This provides for all the APIs that can be certified that have the full range of assets needed, including the CTK for the test. Um, those APIs can be found here. And um, so look on the TM Forum website for that or in the link in this presentation. Also, how about making real world open API certification part of the acceptance test for your transformation project? So we are working with a vendor uh, once the uh, system is deployed, you can run the API CTKs to determine whether um, those APIs deployed as deployed are conformant. Finally, you could ask your vendors to make sure that their commercial products are listed in the ODA component directory. And for those components that you're interested in, that you can see there that they have achieved level one conformance for those uh, components. And uh, you will be able to see that with the alpha version of the ODA component directory coming in February, 2023.